This video is designed to help my algebra students with section 3-5 of our textbook. It is on solving inequalities when we have variables on both sides of the inequality sign. So number one, 2x is less than or equal to 3x plus 7. So the first thing I need to do is get my x's together. It's going to make more sense to move this 3x over here so that my 7 is alone. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides and I get negative 1x is less than or equal to 7. Now I have to get the x totally alone. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. Do you remember what happens to the inequality symbol? x is now greater than or equal to negative 7. I'll draw my number line. Here's my x, my solution of negative 7. It's a filled in circle and x's get greater than going to the right. Let's look at number 2. 4x is greater than 2x plus 9. Who makes the most sense to move? We need to move the 2x so that the 9 will be alone. To get rid of a positive, we subtract. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. 4x minus 2x is 2x, which is greater than 9. I need to get the x totally alone. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. X is greater than, 9 divided by 2 is 4 and a half. Here's my number line, X, my solution of 4 and a half. This one should have an open circle, and X's are greater than going to the right. Example 3. Now I have a distributive property as well as having variables on both sides. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 4 is a positive 8, is less than or equal to 6x minus 10. Now, we have both numbers and letters on both sides. You're safer to start with the variables. Who's smaller, 2x or 6x? 2x is smaller. How do I move a positive value? I'm going to subtract it from both sides. So now positive 8 is less than or equal to 4x minus 10. Now I need to get the 4x alone by adding 10 to both sides. 18 is less than or equal to 4x. Now I'm going to get the x alone by dividing both sides by 4. 18 divides by 4 4 times. Leaving 2, we divide it by 4, which is less than or equal to x. And now I have two things I want to fix. Most of us prefer to graph this with the x on the left, so I'm going to flip around this entire answer. So it's going to be x is greater than or equal to, the 4 is a 4, but 2 over 4 reduces to 1 half. So now I have my number line, my x is my variable, my solution is 4 and 1 half. This takes a filled in circle, and x's get greater than or equal to traveling to the right. Let's look at example number 4. These are both x's. So it doesn't matter which one we move, but to get rid of a positive, I'm going to subtract. Subtract x, subtract x. 9 is greater than 2. Is that statement true or false? That's right, the statement is true. So therefore, what we write for the answer is that all real numbers are the solutions. So if we were to graph this, here's my number line, here's x, and it's an arrow going both directions showing that every single number in our system solves this and makes it true. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's look at number five. Now I have a 3x on both sides. Does it matter which one I move? No. But I move a positive by subtracting. 3x, 3x, so 7 is less than 20. Is that true? Yes, it is. So what do we say? We say that all 
real numbers are the solution. Again, here's my number line with X and an arrow going both directions showing everything works. Now, what if, for example, instead of this, the equation said 3x plus 7 is greater than 3x plus 20. Well, let's do that math and see what happens. I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides, and now 7 is greater than 20. Is 7 greater than 20? No. That statement is false. That's not true. So what we say is, there are no solutions. And therefore, there's nothing to graph. You're done. So knowing that, here are four problems I would like you to try. Number one, 4x is less than or equal to 5x plus 9. Number two, 9x plus 3 is greater than 4x minus 7. Number 3, 2 times the quantity 6 minus x is less than 4x. And number 4, 4x is greater than 3 times the quantity 7 minus x. Please show all your work to solve for x, reduce your fractions if needed, and when possible, graph your solutions on a number line.